Hello, this is the next video in a series I'm calling uh, Transformations of Random Variables. And we're sort of in the linear transformation phase of this little mini series. And here we're going to show that the sample mean and variance are independent if our data are normal. And we're going to use the previous two videos of a linear transformation of um, you know, orthogonal transformation of normal random variables is again, you know, normal. And, um, and the properties of orthogonal matrices, which was done two videos ago in the linear transformation uh, video. So here we're going to let the ZIs be IID normal, standard normal specifically. We're going to create a K by K matrix in a unique way. So here the first row is uh, the same element, 1 over square root of k. The second row has two elements, the third has three, the fourth has four, um, all the way up to the, the kth row has k, you know, non-zero elements. The diagonal elements, you know, not counting the first row, is minus 1, then minus 2, minus 3, all the way up to minus k minus 1. And of course the denominators here have a very specific pattern. Um, this is going to be our C matrix in our linear transformation. So Z is our random vector and then we're going to let the random vector Y be C times Z. Okay, so a couple notes here. Uh, this is an orthogonal transformation because if you take C times C uh, transpose, that's identity, and you'll just have to do the matrix multiplication to prove it to yourself. Or if you do um, C transpose C, then you get the identity. And so that's how you show that this is an orthogonal transformation. So from the previous video we did, um, we know that the... Uh, since the zi's are independent normal random variables, then the y's are independent normal random variables, and it's and they're iid standard normal. Also, in a previous video, two videos ago, we showed that the that the sum of the sum of squared of these elements is equal to the sum of the squared elements here, and we proved it. And so in this video, we're just going to assume it's true and point you back to that one. And now remember, our goal is to show that the mean and the variances are independent. So let's look at this transformation here. So and let's look at Y1, the first element here, which says take the first row times this vector. So the first row is this. They're all the same, 1 over K, times the Z's. And then, so it's going to be the sum of the zi's over the square root of k. And so that's what I want to show on this one. So the first element, y1, is going to be the sum of the zi's, um, t you know, times 1 over k. So if we can bring this out front, and then we're just li looking at the sum of the zi's, and then uh, we can divide by k, then we have to multiply it by k because we're multiplying by 1 and we get the square root of k times z bar. Now, it, it's, it's pretty obvious that, the, that since the yi's are independent, that y1 is independent of the remaining k minus 1. So this, since there's no y1 here, these are clearly independent. Okay. And so that let's establish that. And then so let's look at this sum from 2 to k. And then if we add and subtract y1, we still have this sum. And it, then if we uh, replace y1 with this number here, so that's where we get this. And we showed that the sum of the yi squareds is equal to the sum of the zi squared. So we replace this, we get this. Well, this can be rewritten. Um, you, you take the squared ends, you get this. And then this is this sum here, zi minus z bar. Now, these are independent because we know y1, which is this, 
these two is independent of yi, the sum of the yi squareds, which is this. So these two are independent. Now functions of independent random variables are independent. That's a fact. We're not going to prove it in this video. So if we take a function of this, we get z bar, and we take a function of this, dividing it by k minus 1, these are independent. Well, this is the sample mean and the sample variance. So they're independent. So now we have to show the general case. If we let x1 through xk be iid normal random variables, mean mu and sigma squared, then x bar is independent of s squared. And here's the little proof. So if we create a variable zi, which is this transformation, then the zi's are iid standard normal. So they fit into the previous example. And we just showed that zi bar is independent of this. But zi bar is this, so when you plug in, you know, we take the mean of this, we get this, and this is equal to this. So this variable is equal to this, and so a, a function of this variable is equal to a function of this variable, and so that's the sample mean and the sample variance, so they're independent. And so that's all I have for today on this video. It's kind of a different way to show that the sample mean and sample variance when the data are normal or independent. Uh, if you enjoyed it, like it and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.